Hello everyone, this is Reza from Radakat and today I'm going to talk about a small trick that you can use and remove the total from a specific column in the table visual. Uh, you can keep the total for other columns but keep but only remove it from a specific column. Let's see how it works. Let's say I have a table visual like this, which shows me the education categories, uh, the sales amount, and um, concatenated list of um, customer names in each uh, education category, the first three customers, and then etc. Uh, the total uh, row usually appears in the table visual um, like this, and it shows you all the total values. For something like it, the sales amount, the total makes sense, but for something like list of uh, full names, the total doesn't make sense because these are like all customers, probably. You can go to the format of a visual under um, under the total, you can turn the total on or off, but when you turn it off, that makes everything off. You might want to keep the total for sales amount, but remove the total for this column. Right now, that feature uh, is not yet available in uh, this visual. Hopefully, it will be available sometime soon, but until that time, I'm going to show you how you can do this. Uh, so first of all, you might be interested how I created this list of full names. That's really easy. I'm just going to show you that uh, you can use a quick measure uh, to create that. I've done a blog post and video about quick measure. Uh, and one of quick measures is concatenated list of values. Then you can say you want the full name, name of customer, and you want the first three values, then etc. So that is going to give you a concatenated list of full names uh, really simply it just write the expression for you as you see this is the expression written so really simple uh, I haven't wrote that myself this is just Power BI uh, created that for you right okay now I'm going to talk about how you can do this there are two ways uh, an easy way which is not that much flexible and a little bit uh, harder way uh, not that much uh, of course but more flexible I'm going to talk about that way first in DAX there is a function called is filtered very useful function this function uh, the way that it works is that uh, you just use that function it returns a true or false and uh, the input of that function is like this so let me make it a little bit bigger so this is an example of this function mm, is filtered the input of this function can be a table or a column the output is true or false that means that is this uh, is this uh, calculation running on the, on the value filtered on a, a context that is filtered by this field or not? For example, if I create a measure with this is filtered of English education and you see English education is the first column here, then um, this is an example of that. Uh, then you see that this column returns true or false depends on is it filtered or not and you see that, that it returns true for all of these rows uh, all of the table rows because they are all filtered by English education but not the total the total is false because this is not filtered by English education so using this approach very simple approach we can easily detect that are we in the total row or not and if we are in a total row then we can do a different calculation uh, so something similar to this now if I want to use that is filtered in my expression my expression can be something like this so I have my expression uh, let me just bring that new expression and I write it for you that you can see how it works even if you want to change the expression so this is the expression that I already have it has some variables things like that this is the return value right now all of these return value I put that inside an if statement and I say if is filtered and I'm checking it by the field that is filtering my table in this case is English education so if it is filtered by English education that means I'm in a data row uh, that means I want to do all of these calculation right which is fine now if it is not uh, the default the return if false is always blank by default so even if I don't provide anything if I just close bracket this would work perfectly fine now if I have something like that 
in my expression, you would see this works just like this, right? So it returns the value for anything that there is an English education filtering the data. When there is no English education filtering, I have this area blank. So you actually remove the total uh, from this column specifically. And that's not just about removing the total. You can even change that. You can say um, you, do, you just don't want to remove the total. Like if you leave the blank, if you leave the false section blank, uh, that removes the total. But you might want to put like a default value, for example. If, um, if we are in a total row, you might want to say, okay, sh show me something like this, old customers. Right. You put that alternative text. Uh, so this is when it falls, uh, when it is false. Right. Uh, and that is something that I've done here in this example. Uh, you can see that it returns all customers for the total uh, when uh, English education is not filtered. So really uh, useful way is filtered is uh, is super helpful. Many, many other things with that. Uh, now, if you are looking for the way of doing it, is to um, to do it through formatting. For example, you can uh, you can select the chart, right? Uh, you can select the chart and uh, or visual, and then go to the format under field formatting. This is a place that you format everything for each field. You can select this column that you want to format it, and then you say, "Do not apply this to values. Apply only to total." and then put font color as white. So you see that section is gone uh, because I said uh, apply only to total, not values, and font color is that. However, there are some limitations in this scenario. The limitation is that if you use a specific themes, a specific background colors and things like that, you should make sure that your font color and background color matches with that. Uh, you can't have your normal uh, theme colors with this. Probably you need to do a little bit extra work and things like that. So it is simpler, but it's not that flexible. Another thing is that you cannot have like alternative text or something like that using this approach. So my preference is usually the is filtered way, much more flexible. And it is not is filtered is not just for this scenario. You can use it in many other scenarios. So here you go, you got uh, uh, the ability to uh, change the uh, change the total for a column uh, as you want. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.